Greetings and uh, salutation to you all my precious brethren in Jesus Christ. Yes, I I am very much uh, thankful to the Lord for uh, for the day we are living. That this is the day we are living, the day of the revelation. Yes, I can say the day of the revelation because uh, be, because you know that uh, <clears throat> we are really enjoying the revelation of the Bible, revelation of everything uh, which is God spoken in the past days. Yes. So if a man fail to receive the revelation, uh, he is he cannot be called as a, even as a Christian. Therefore, I am very thankful to the Lord. Now I want to speak on the uh, subject of the uh, message of Brother Branham preached that message uh, on the wings of the uh, uh, on the wings of the snow white dove. Yes. Now so on the wings of the Dow, yes, that that is the uh, uh, message. So, therefore, uh, that uh, Brother Branham actually in that message on the wings of the Snow White Dove, uh, in that message, Brother Branham said uh, that uh, that there will be a uh, white eagle message. That is the next message. That means after William Branham's message is over completely. How many messages he preached? Then another message. He said next message will be the white eagle message. Yes, sir. Uh, white eagle message. So, Brother Branham was saying that actually, uh, that message and he told and it is like a prophecy. It's like a prophecy. He prophesied that, you know, that next ministry or next message. So, nobody can deny that. That I'm going to play uh, that uh, what he said about that. Even you can hear the very voice of Brother Branham where he said ab- about the uh, white eagle um, ministry. And uh, the white eagle is nothing but the prophet because eagle represents in the Bible is a prophet. So uh, what happens today, all these Malachi, uh, followers of Malachi 4, 5, I can say 90, 99% people are, uh, you know, thinking only for the Branham, the, the, only the prophet William Branham. After Brother Branham, no prophet can raise and only that it is enough. Actually, that uh, thought and that uh, claim of the followers of William Branham is really the, uh, you know, false. It is unscriptural, unscriptural. It is not a Bible, uh, you know, uh, it is not in the Bible. That whole Bible, you can see, God spoke only the prophets. Any mysteries are there, any secrets are there, anything is there. But the Bible says about that, God spoke through the prophet. Yes, prophet is a media, I can say media for the God's voice. God's voice even coming to the earth, even on the earth, God speaks to the human being and anyone else, he takes the prophetical media and through the prophet he speaks. Nobody can deny. He never spoke from pastor, no apostle, no teacher, nothing. Only the prophet is a media for God to speak to the human race. Yes. Whether you receive or whether you reject, that is up to you. So, I just want to uh, tell you about that. Uh, that you, you, can, uh, you can hear what William Branham said. And uh, I, I am playing that uh, William Branham's quotes on the white, the next message will come forth is the white eagle message. I just want to play that. You can hear what William Branham said. And even you can hear, Brother Branham said, prophet is the uh, eagle represent the prophet in the Bible. So just uh, you want to hear that, I will play for you. I consider it up, what the doctor told me. I'm going to be well anyhow. The third day I went back. I was climbing up high. Many of you know the vision about the Indian chief riding that little wall to the west. Something attracted me all to a big rock. About noontime, so lay your hands against that and pray. God in heaven knows this is true. I laid my hands against the rock and looked up towards heaven and started praying. I heard a voice coming out of the top of the rock there. 
said, what are you leaning against over your heart? I raised back like this, my bare shoulders naked from the waist up, hot. I looked back, and there was rope in the quartz, in the stone, white eagle. Just exactly what the vision said that the next message would come forth by. I was so excited, I run home, got a camera, and come back the next day and took the picture of it. It was still there. Wrote in the rock, white eagle. Dove leading eagle. Somehow, uh, I know the coincides with this last revelation to the church. He's God. The Almighty. On earth he was a prophet, which is the eagle. I mean, know that a prophet is considered an eagle. A gift of knowledge. Many times a prophet is referred to in the Bible as an eagle. An eagle can go higher in the air than any other bird. Because he's, he's built, he's a heaven bird. He sails way above. He has it all to himself. There's no other birds around him. And he goes way high. And being high up, he can see far off. All right, you already heard the quotes of Brother Branham where he said that white eagle will be the white eagle will bring forth the message. Next message clearly said, next message will come forth he is the white eagle message. My dear brothers and sisters, Brother Branham clearly said that white eagle message, white eagle is not the bird. He, mean, he, he did not mean to say the bird will come and bring the message. White eagle is the prophet because eagle always represents the prophet. But here is a one, one thing is added, white eagle. So the, this one is a superior prophet, superior. So superior prophet means he is, a, he is the father of all the prophets, I can say. He is none other than God. So now... Now, you know, all the, among all the prophets, the superior, Jesus said that among the women, among the born of women, John the Baptist is the greatest prophet, he said. But I tell you, the, the greater than John the Baptist was standing there. He is none other than Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, and, uh, and, and that, that, that is how, even today, the same thing. There, there is one more time that same thing, same thing repeated on the earth after William Branham gone. There, he, uh, the, there came one more person, he is called Christ, Jesus Christ. That his ministry started. He started to give out his wives. He started to call his sheep. Brother Branham could not call the sheep, you know, because the Bible says, My sheep heareth my voice. That is Lord Jesus Christ, not the John the Baptist. And the, uh, and the sheep will come to me. I will call, call them by their names and they will come to me and no one will pluck them out of my hand. That was the next ministry, that, which is called the wise ministry. So here Ephesians, uh, first Ephesians, sorry, first Thessalonians 4.16, what it says, the Lord himself shall descend from the heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet. Now the three phases are there in the second coming of the Lord. That is three phases uh, of the Lord and one phase is already over. That was Brother Branham and second phase also over. But people never understood and never knew that was the voice of the archangel. So here, the voice of the archangel is not anyone else. It is not the human being. It is Christ himself came down <clears throat> and stood on the earth, started to give his voice, which is, which in other words we call as a scripturally, we call it as the seven thunders. Because Revelation 10, 1 to 4, when you read, when he begins to utter his voices, the seven thunder uttered their voices. So that was the wise face. So that is none other than Christ, the mighty angel. But you, you may surprise. Can Christ do the ministry? Can God do the ministry without the human being? No. Even in the first coming of the Lord, after, after John the Baptist, then the Lord Jesus Christ came. He was in the flesh 30 years, 33 years he was there on the earth. It was the flesh, 
and that he veiled the flesh who was inside the father of all the prophets that's why jesus said unless the father shows to me i do nothing he said because father was very much uh, you know inside the flesh of jesus jesus is born the sinless uh, he born in the womb of mary and it was very blood of lord jesus it was very blood of god and the, and therefore that was the time it it had to be like that god had to create the blood cell and the flesh in the womb of the mary in order to deliver us from the sinless blood that the blood of god so only the blood of god can deliver us from all the sin that, that was necessary that he had to be born in that way but today it is not like that today god could have been picked up anyone uh, any one of them any one of the body any one of the flesh and he was hiding in the flesh and started to speak to the human being do you know that after william branham's ministry the another ministry had come on the earth he is the white eagle uh, ministry white eagle message and i would like to tell you that is nothing but the seventh seal uh, me- message seventh seal opening of the seventh seal the another prophet Oh yes, another prophet. Then you may ask, who is that prophet? I will. I immediately I will tell you that is nothing, none other than Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, he 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 could he could not come with thousand people and speak that. He also used the one uh, body, one flesh body, and he started to give out the uh, seven thunders from his mouth. That mouth, uh, you know, came out the seven thunders. Oh yes, that mouth is the human mouth. He uses the human being. He uses the human vessel in order to uh, accomplish, uh, in order to do the ministry. So that that was the White Eagle ministry. I can say White Eagle. It was prophesied by William Branham. He said that the soon after my message is over. Oh yes, another one will come. That would be the white eagle message. All right. And Brother Banham, before that, in 1963, Spirit of Truth, he said that, uh, my going home time has come. I, I will be a few days, I will be here. But after I gone, there would be uh, somebody would going to raise up and he will take my message on and you will have to hear him. So that that is the outstanding course he used. So that means somebody is going to rise up. So all these things are there. So my brethren and brethren, I am not. I am in, in this public. You too. I am not talking which is unscriptural, which is not there, which is not there in the message of William Branham, which is already there in the message of William Branham. You believe it or not, that is up to you. You may contest with me. You 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 cannot fight and win in this matter. You cannot contest because that is already there. and nobody can figure out that so, so, so the false prophets and false christ are already climbing they are the one who are the white eagles so so how many white eagles are there then so there are many many white eagles so those so that is not the eagles that, that is the vultures yes that, that that is the vultures that is not the eagles so my dear brothers and sisters so be be, be careful about uh, these kinds of uh, uh, and antichrist spirits roaming around us but uh, that 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 there was not many white eagles one white eagle one prophet there was many jesus christ one jesus christ came after the ministry of john the baptist here also the same thing that is what be because god changeth not his programs are the same what he had done in the beginning the same thing he will do again that that time is again because the the, the days of the son of man would be like because it clearly you see days of the son of man not son of god uh, would be the sodom gomorrah's time and noah's time so that same thing same ministry repeated back again same voice started to call his sheep brother ban could not gather the sheep it was not william branham's ministry although it was a great ministry of william branham very mighty ministry powerful prophet but yet more powerful than william branham came on the earth and he is he was he, he is none other than lord jesus christ but this, this time when he came he did not come just like you know mary's womb there was a baby produced and the baby grown up 
and uh, he started to do the no no not like that here the somebody and uh, some sinner and he saved by god he born again and he god used that vessel for me and you he he, he uh, it is like you know in the uh, you know in the tomb mary went on that day because uh, brother branham says seventh seal opening up the seventh seal is nothing but like is a resurrection seal because when the resurrection uh, mary was waiting the lord her lord would re- re- resurrect according to his word and he went to the uh, cemetery he w- went to the graveyard early in the morning and he found that the, the cave was empty cave nothing was there so then he suddenly seen one gardener standing she could not recognize that gardener she thought that somebody is here and she started to inquire with the gardener where is my lord because he is absolutely like gardener so working in the garden he had a shovel and all kinds of material he is having in his hand in order to show her and he did not see the long beard and palestinian dress person he she seen a, a, a unknown person a stranger but when that man started call her name mary immediately she recognized this is none other than my lord this is none other than my lord so she she was surprised she was trying to touch him go and touch him but he said don't touch me now don't touch me now this revelation this revelation you have, you should not touch now it has it has got some time then you can touch this revelation then you can handle this revelation but not the time not this time you can handle this revelation keep quiet and she was very happy similarly today the same thing this revelation so when when you recognize the voice when you hear the voice you go back you go back Well, you, you know when you are you are in thought of god's thought you are in god's thought you was rejoicing that rejoice comes in you again and you hear the voice and recognize this is none other than my lord so then you started to call my lord because you recognized his very voice the same voice you recognized when you recognize the same voice you 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 re- realize and you 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 come to the conclusion that this is my lord you know so that is therefore seventh seal bring the lord from the heaven to the earth where yes, this is the time that seventh seal is opening that is another no no one's ministry that is a ministry of the white eagle yes sir ministry of the white eagle therefore brother banam never made any mistake very clearly he said soon after my message he says yes soon after his message another message will going to come that is the white eagle's message all right so my beloved brothers and sisters the the this is the truth i am speaking that you cannot deny this truth you cannot deny this truth you cannot fight with this truth you cannot fight i tell you uh, whether whether you believe it or don't believe it i don't care actually what i am saying uh, scripturally and from the from the message of william branham i am saying these things this is a white eagles uh, ministry white eagle only uh, white eagle is none other than the prophet because brother branham said that the even the bible says the eagle is one of the creature uh, uh, around the throne that eagle also is one of the creature around the throne the eagle is the prophet so everywhere you see because eagle fly very high and his eye is very sharp and looks to the very far that, that is the eagle so i i just want to tell you now this ministry i tell you now the, the, therefore brother banam says here the hour would come brother banam said brother banam known the hour would arise yes sir, brother banam knew that when he was Uh, he was doing his ministry he knew that the hour would going to come when the rest of the ministry of the son of man would be revealed and it would bring his converts out of there yes sir so rest of the son of man ministry because son of man ministry not completed in william branham alone that will continue the son of man ministry will be in uh, in the wise the wise is the son of man ministry the son of man stood on the earth and gave his voice 
archangel the revelation 10:1 the mighty angel he came down after the days of the seventh earthly angel walking angel after the days of the seventh earthly walking angel who is none other than william branham after he revealed all the mysteries which is written in the bible then this angel came down so therefore revelation 10:7 10:7 had to uh, fulfilled first although the, that is in the number wise first to first second third fourth five six seven, because god is a very tricky god he did it in that way seventh he said the seventh angel uh, earthly angel seventh earthly angel here then again go back the uh, uh, revelation 10 one starts so i can say that is the uh, the that is the heavenly seventh angel heavenly seventh angel heavenly seventh angel flying angel not the walking angel flying angel he is a mighty angel he is the archangel mighty angel michael the archangel christ none other than christ so after brother branham revealed all the mysteries of god listen carefully then that angel came down yes sir we with the open book because book already open by william marian branham ministry book open now the, he brought that open book yes sir and that was the opening of the seventh seal so you can see here in chapter 8 there was silence nothing happened but in the revelation 10:1 is a, is fulfilled that was the seventh seal opened here now that is the scene seventh seal opening of the seventh seal is here revelation 10:1 had to come he had to open the seventh seal he is none other than white eagle when when he brought the open book and he one foot on the earth one foot on the sea that is nothing but the left foot is on the land right foot on the sea that that is uh, Uh, atlantic ocean and left foot on the uh, land that, that is none other than america united states of america eastern part uh, we can say new england brother branham said about the uh, brother branham said the course about that there will be a final revival will going to break forth from the new england he said that was the final because that is the location the mighty angel stood on that geographic geographical location and give out his voice seven thunders uttered in that geographical location so all these false prophet will be failed if you take the geographical location where the mighty angel was standing and his eyes directly towards israel because you can see he is looking towards the israel and he because his next ministry after the gentiles he will be going to the israel and his business his ministry will be in israel all right that is what is going to take place listen carefully if you don't know if you don't believe this message this uh, my uh, video my youtube you are lost you are going to lose your soul you will never going to be gain your soul whoever you may be you are headweight your mind will be blown because you are only thinking that brad after william branham nothing had taken place i tell you in the name of the lord after william branham great things had been taken place great ministry had been broke open that is nothing but the ministry of the seventh seal by the white eagle ministry according to brother branham said the white eagle will come and his message will come and the dove will lead that dove is nothing but the outpouring of the holy spirit dove will going to lead that ministry whoever come under the ministry will be led by the token will be baptized by the token will be will will receive the baptism of the holy ghost all right so this is what and the very return of jesus christ in the ministry of the son of man the white eagle the prophet of god would prove that brother branham was god's prophet for the hour to the laodicean church awakening god all right this is what white eagle so why what white eagle may ministry will do that ministry will prove brother branham is a god's prophet you know who proved the john the baptist ministry lord jesus christ he said he proved that he told that his ministry is right ministry similarly today no one can no one nobody 
able to prove the ministry of Vilambu. Only the white eagle ministry, the Christ, the next ministry of Vilambu Branham, only able to prove Brother Branham's ministry is the right ministry. All right. So the, that is why Brother Branham said, a great white eagle come on the scene. Huh? The great white eagle, Brother Branham said, the great white eagle we will come on the scene. That will take the message on. Is that right? There will be a lion. A white eagle come on the scene. And take the message on. He said. After I leave the scene. You hear it. And you stay with that. Brother Branham said. You stay with that. You believe that message. But my question. Do the people believe that message? Have the people staying in, stayed in that message? Have the people recognized that ministry and the message? No. No. Few are recognized. Few are today received that message. Few today. Although devil hold the message. Devil from Trinidad and uh, from United States, uh, uh, some church called GCC. These are the demonic uh, agents. Uh, for a while they held that uh, message, hold that message. These are the bastard born children of God. They, they, they uh, stopped those messages. And even they went ahead and trying to stop by sending, uh, you, you know, uh, uh, DMCA notice. Digital uh, that notice, you know, to, to shut down the uh, websites. All the nonsense they did, but they never succeeded. God allowed this message go around the world today. Many people, many in Africa received that message and rejoicing. They kicked out these de de demonic power ministries. They kicked out in uh, Trinidad, in GCC. All these are the kicked out product of the devil. Yes, by the, by the mighty angel. They kicked out. I, not only that, the mighty angel smote that person who is the main agent of the devil. He is a mighty, uh, so, sorry, that man, that pastor, he is smitten by mighty angel. He is today bedridden. He cannot be able to preach. He cannot be able to walk even to the pulpit. He is gone. Yes, he is like a dead like. He is a dead man. Who did that? The mighty angel did that because he stopped the message. That message is supposed to come to the uh, true God's children. Carcasses, that, that is the carcasses as the Bible calls about that. Uh, Matthew 24, 27 or so, somewhere it is mentioned. Uh, 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 as the, uh, uh, the, the, so were the carcasses. Thither will be the eagles are gathered. So that is the big, uh, that is the carcasses. So how can, how do you, how can you stop the, uh, stop the eagles to eat the carcasses? You can't stop that. That is God's eagles. We are the God's eagles. We are eating the carcasses, the very fresh meat of the Son of Man. That is what Bible says. Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no part in me. That is what the eagles are doing today. We are God's eagles. But carcasses are there. We are around the carcasses today. Thank God. Thank God for that. Alright, my dear brothers and sisters, that is what I am I'm, I'm saying. Now, listen. Uh, Brother Branham said, two pulls never caught the bread. Brother Branham himself said, my two pulls never caught the bread. He said, I got my line tangled up and all I caught was a little fish. One dead stinking Egyptian. But there has to be a prophet here. See, there has to be a prophet here with the revealed word to cut the bride out of the mixed multitude. Malachi 4.5 was a messenger to the seventh church age. But the bride is not the uh, bride is not in the seventh church age at all. No, bride is not at all in the seventh churches. Only the people who say Branham, 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 tape, tape, they are today, still today, uh, lingering in the seventh church age. Lingering. Why, oh, yes, she is over in the uh, bride is over in the new day, over in the bride age. The prophet is not over there, but there is a white eagle that is over there. Amen. White eagle is there. The white eagle is a messenger for the for the bride age. White eagle is a messenger for the bride age. Alright. <clears throat> there is a white horse rider over there. Tell me he is not over there. 
Brother Branham said the next message was coming by the white eagle message. Next message, yes, after William Branham. What does that white eagle have? He has the revelation of the seven mysterious thunders to give the bride rapturing faith. It is our salvation. It is imperative that God send it to us. Amen. <clears throat> Who send it to us? God send it to us. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is the truth I am telling you. <clears throat> I don't want to talk lengthy and lengthy and bore you out. Why oh, yes sir, this is the truth. Don't stop at William Branham only. Go further. Find out, pray and you will come to know the ministry of the white eagle where the seventh seal is opened. Seven thunders came out. When you believe the seven thunders, you are not the ordinary man on the earth. You are entitled for the token. You are entitled for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. You are entitled for the rapture. Then only you are the candidate for the rapture. Otherwise, you simply, you are dreaming, you are a daydreamer, you are a daydreamer and thinking that you will go in the rapture. No, you will never go in the rapture because you fail to recognize the uh, white eagle ministry and, uh, and, and the white eagle's message. Okay, therefore I would like to tell you, may God bless you for, for this uh, powerful uh, things uh, which I brought out. May you hold and uh, may, may, may you keep on pray and pray and find out that ministry. Wherever you find the ministry, oh yes sir, you fall down before you are, uh, fall down on your knees and let your head touch the ground and ask God forgiveness. May God bless you.